Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 10 of my full platinum walkthrough for Bloodborne. Right, we're going to go to Yahagul, the unseen village. That's probably not how you say that word at all. <laughs> but we've been here before, this is where the Hypergian Jail was. So the first part we're going to is where we left off at the end of the previous video. So if you go to Yahagul, the unseen village, instead of Hypergian Jail, although you can't go to that anymore, that lamp is broken now, so we can't actually use that one anymore. So this is where we left off, this is where we started. This is where we're going to start, should I say. Uh, yeah, so there's... what The the main thing with this area is that there's Bell Maidens. That probably means nothing to you, because we haven't actually seen one yet. But, um, yeah, they can be a real pain in the ass, and they are going to be primary target number one the whole time. So those two enemies I just killed then, you can see that they ha kind of have a red tinge to them. They are slightly more powerful, um, and they will come back. You're going to see that they will be back in a minute. So we're just going to go and show you this shortcut that will open up later on. Uh, so run around, watch out for him. And here's another one. It's kind of a kind of a red tinge to him. He's been summoned, by, or he's being su some of them get summoned, some of them get strengthened by these maid maidens. Uh, and the idea is you find them and kill them. So that's a shortcut later on. We actually won't use that shortcut it's cut because it's kind of useless, but we will. Um, we need to roll off the lift halfway up for something else. So here they are, the guys I've just killed earlier on. They are back because that's what happened. This is why you need to get rid of the maidens. Uh, until you do that, they will keep respawning. Here's uh, a bunch of guys on the stairs. Just kind of get the top three or so to follow you up and then run around. And watch out, you can see it's happening there in the background. The amygdalas will try and grab you if you hang around, so don't. Uh, what I'm doing here is just running past them all, just ignore them all, and go straight for the chime. I think it's Bell or Chime Maiden, whatever they're called. This woman here. Killing her will stop the other ones reappearing. So once you kill the, the sort of ones with a red tinge, they won't come back anymore. And at the moment where you kill her, they will get stunned. You may... You won't have seen it then, but you will see it later. It also weakens them as well. So they're just one hit kills at that point. So right, yeah, you can ignore the rest of the ones on the stairs. Don't bother with them. There is actually an item up to the left as well. I'm going to come back and get that because I always forget about it. Because I'm always trying to kill enemies once I kill that maiden. So yeah, we'll go back and get that in a minute. So there's a second one there. You can see she will do the. She'll ring the bell. Uh, this one will appear, and then there'll be a big, um, big brute here. So you're going to have to kill him as well. Because we do need to open a door to get to her. So yeah, it's uh, a bit of a pain. Um, this this area can be. If you don't know where the maidens are, there's a particularly difficult one. <laughs> she's not Well, she's not difficult, but she's hidden in a, a really awkward place. Uh, but we luckily need to go there anyway, so we will get, get to kill her. So yeah, this one... Watch out, she's going to do it again and summon uh, a guy with a gun. So watch out for him there. If he's got to his back to you, you're fine. But if he is facing you, watch out, he will kill you very quickly. So yeah, go for the maiden again. You can see that enemy there and the other one, the guy in the chair. They they get stunned for a moment once the, the maiden dies. So uh, yeah, take them out as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, just run past other enemies to get to them. It is pretty important, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so... To the right here, should I say, is the air uh, rune. This one, never going to use it. Increases the blood echoes you get from visceral attacks, if I remember rightly. Yeah, so we open that shortcut door, and I'm actually going to run back now, because I've remembered that there's a, a bolt damp blood gem up here. So if you want to ever make any of your weapons into bolt weapons, you can do that with this gem here. So this is where the first maiden was. So open this door up and it's there. And there's a bit of story as well. <laughs> as rare as that is in this game. Yep, no idea. We probably don't. Uh, Mensis is where we're going soon. So yeah, just a couple more videos left for the main sort of path, the story. Not Well, not story, but the main leading up to the end boss. There's only two more areas left. Um, well, two more, two more videos Uh a few couple of areas sort of mixed together very short so yeah item there. i don't know why i, I, <laughs> I missed it for a moment and walked off but yeah some cold blood uh, so yeah a couple more videos um for two more areas and then it's on to chalice dungeons seven 
videos there at least because uh, we've got to go into seven dungeons I will won't be fully exploring the dungeons I will just be getting what we need so there are some uh, witches in this area there are some off to the right so don't go down to the right hand side that's going to be the way we come back up in a moment so go up the stairs and then drop down here and we're going to get rid of the chime maiden who is a real pain this one because she will keep recalling some pretty tough enemies uh, yeah and you'll just keep hearing her ringing a bell and bringing them back so watch out for this guy first the brick guy he's actually can't wait we go statue there um, yeah get rid of him and then go straight for the maiden she's behind him so yeah go on push past there she is so yeah get rid of her she's she's summoning things all over the place this one uh, very handy to get rid of this one There we go, and then we're going to drop down and get the Upper Cathedral Key, which is where we're going to go in the next video. Uh, so, right at the top of the cathedral. We have been to the door where that, that key unlocks, but we haven't been uh, through it yet, obviously. Uh, but that leads to two areas, uh, two bosses, which will be the next video. Very short area, so we'll do them together uh, in one, one go. They're kind of connected anyway. So, another troll, and then there's going to be a shooter to the left-hand side, so watch out for him. Uh, if you come in the other way, that troll that was up above will drop on you, so you need to watch out for that as well if you come back here for any reason. So yeah, kill him. Nothing here, don't know why I'm looking around here. Uh, and pick up the tiny Tonitrous Hunter Tool. So this is a Hunter Tool we need for the trophy, so make sure you grab this. has excellent arcane scaling. Uh, I think it's an S rank, it's one of the best. It's a... Uh, it's not a weapon, but it is a tool, and it does do damage. But it's um, you'll see it in um, in use later on. I'm not going to use it because I can't. I don't have arcane much of it. Um, one of the hunters, the NPCs we've got to take on, is using it. So I'll show it you later on. Yeah. So there, there will be a bunch of these kind of uh, witches or old women that you're going to see shortly. There, bunched around there, but because we killed the maiden first, she, that uh, they aren't there anymore. So yeah, watch out, there's quite a few of these crazies around, so they are quick. These are the same ones that were in uh, Hemwick, so watch out for them. They are quite camouflaged here as well, to be honest. So yeah, it's uh, they are actually quite easy to kill now, just one hits. There's one, whoa, where did you come from? That was lucky, that one didn't do anything to me. But yeah, you should be able to kill them with just one hit now, because we have weakened them, because we killed the, the maiden first. Uh, yeah, so don't whatever you do, don't run to the far end. Just keep it nice and tight because they are everywhere. They are hidden. So another bloodstone chunk there. We're going to get more than enough to take the hunter's axe or whatever you're using up to plus nine. See, they hurt. <laughs> they hurt a lot. So yeah, stay back. And that is the reason why there is an amygdala which is firing its laser the whole time on the stairs. So yeah, don't get caught up in that. The... The very don't worry about this laser. It's not anything difficult, but it can kill you very quickly. So it has the same path every time. So if you watch where it's drawing the line, that is the damage as it comes past there. When it's drawing the line, that do doesn't damage you. So as long as you're not stood where it draws, you'll be fine. You can uh, kind of stand in between and you'll be okay. There's one more here on the stairs, and then we're going to run down once it's clear uh, to the middle lamp of this area. So that we don't have to do any of that ever again which is nice there it is so there's a scurrying beast off to the left there you can see it running away if you're quick you can light the light the lamp and go and get it or just go and get it and then light the lamp i missed it <laughs> this is an important one you do want to kill this one it's, it should give you a couple of chunks so i'm just going to nip back to hunter's dream get the thing to respawn and uh, kill it again while i'm here I might as well just stick uh, my Blood Echoes into uh, a level, which is a good thing that I do, actually, because I'm going to die a couple of times in this video. I'm not. You're going to see where it happens, and I will explain what happens. One of them I do on purpose. One of them is not. It's just a, a mistake on my part. Um, yeah, so it's a good job I actually spent that. Otherwise, I would have lost 70,000, which is uh, a pain. So, yeah, here, let's come back again. Yeah, the reason is I die, or I kill myself on purpose, because I get kind of stuck. So yeah, it's going to drop two chunks, so make sure you grab that. Get kind of stunk, stuck, and um, my blood echoes, I don't know where they went. 
so I never pick them up and it's like 40 odd thousand so <laughs> yeah that's uh, quite annoying but never mind so yeah drop down on this shooter otherwise you're not going to be able to kill him there's two dogs below as well so you can drop there is enough room to do a drop attack so get rid of those as well and then there's another maiden tucked into the corner here so make her priority and uh, get rid of her see it's going to stun these guys so you can wind up this one will probably take most of the the brunt of the attack there there is a shooter one of them is does have a gun uh, i always like to prioritize the ones with a gun first so yeah one hit would have done it yeah watch out for the the brick troll guy what is he in that statue isn't it <laughs> yeah so of course charge r2 of course and pick up anything that's dropped right there's going to be three npcs coming up but there is a little trick yeah they're like literally on top of you all at the same time there is a little trick we can do to kill them without any trouble whatsoever um so yeah we're going to do that in a moment one of them does have this tiny tronitrus tonitrus that you're going to see see him using it uh, it is an arcane weapon so i'm not going to be obviously ever using it but if you are going for that whole arcane thing then yes you'll be able to use it so we're back in the um, Hypergian jail area you should recognize where we are so that's the lamp we used for Hypergian jail on the left it's broken so we can't use that anymore uh, so we've come through the side door that didn't open when we were originally here this is where the guys with the sacks were there's now three NPCs there's one there there's one just off in the distance there and there's one that's going to come up the stairs. So yeah, I tried to get the creep on him. Didn't work. So don't bother trying to kill them here. Just run away. You're going to see him on the left here. That's the tiny tronitrus, tonitrus that he's doing there. It's like a bolt of um, a stream of electric that it shoots out. So yeah, get them to follow you. This first one is a beast. He, he's actually going to drop the claw mark rune. Which is going to... It is good. But we're going to get a, a better one. Uh, at the end of this video of claw mark we can get plus 20 percent what it does is it increases the damage from visceral attack so it can be handy for certain bosses so i run all the way back to the lamp and hopefully all three follow you chances are just two will the beast and the guy with the tonitrus will uh, follow you and if they do just hit them through the wall watch out they can hit through the wall as well so just back off a, a, a little bit charge up and just keep attacking <laughs> through the wall it's cheap i know but trying to take on three NPCs at once can be uh, quite daunting. So anything that makes them easier, really. So yeah, that's a handy part of the game, being able to hit through the walls. And yeah, that should be it. So that's two of them down. So there we're going to get Claw Mark, and we're also going to get some Madman's Knowledge as well. So just one of these guys left. These are NPC hunters, so they will never come back once you kill them they're gone forever uh, yeah just one of these guys left he he might follow you should but he's the one that was off in the distance he's a bit slower than the other two because he's obviously not on top of you right away so yeah there's a chance he might get stuck on this wall but chances are he might not so you can do the same again draw him back or if you're feeling brave you can uh, practice your parrying because i sure as hell need to practice <laughs> you're gonna see in a minute um yeah, he's, he's quite slow. He's going to do charge-ups. If you're first, then uh, you're obviously going to do a lot of damage to him. He will try and do quite a few charge-ups with the... Uh, I think it's the rifle spear he's got there and the cannon on his back. So, yeah, just um, try and do it. He, I think he gets me this time. Yeah, so that hurt. <laughs> that was lucky. Uh, yeah, you can try and parry, obviously, which uh, is how we're going to finish him. Yeah, it's... Uh, my parrying is definitely not the best. With certain enemies, I can do it. But with certain enemies, it just seems to be the, the window is really small on them. Uh, that's my excuse, anyway. Nope, didn't get it. I thought we'd get the finish there. But no, we're going to have to go back for another parry and do him that way. There, so he's gone as well for now, forever. Just quick, uh, quick silver bullets. 20 of them from him, which is not particularly interesting. But there we go. So yeah, we're going to be going back into uh, an area we've been to already. It has all changed now. Uh, so we don't need to go downstairs again. Uh, we're going to go this way. Habit going around here because it's usually <laughs> that the old witch, the woman. She's not here this time. She was the first time. And then we have these new enemies. Um, I don't know what to say that these are really. They're a, a, 
a chest full of death. I don't know what they are, but they hurt a lot if you uh, if they get you. So yeah, you're gonna. That was actually a bad example of how to kill them. So this is the shortcut around the side. So just gonna check. I, I couldn't remember if if there was an item up here. There isn't, so don't worry. You don't need to come up here. But if you die, you can just run past. Whatever you could use it to go past the hunters if you really don't want to take them on. Um, we should have opened it up earlier on, but those hunters are easy enough to kill, and it's a, a decent amount of blood echo, so it's worth doing them. A couple of guys that way, so there is a chime maiden. We're gonna go and get rid of her first. So we get rid of him. And she's up these stairs here. So with these maidens, you're usually going to kill them before they do anything. But they, they can use their dagger. And if they ring their bell when you're near them, you're going to get caught in a shock wave of death. It really hurts. So they do die very easily. But uh, yeah, watch out. So enemy here, watch out for him. And then we're going to open up this, um, this lift, this shortcut. Uh, this is from right back at the start of the video. I showed you that, that shortcut. That's this one. Kind of useless because we have a, a lamp in between. I suppose the run back would be quicker to use this lamp to the boss, maybe. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, you don't have to... Yeah, it could be quicker. Probably as long as it is broad, I suppose. Either way, it doesn't matter. So that's where we're going to jump out later on. We're going to do that. Uh, I actually jumped out too soon and I get stuck, which is just weird. So instead of using a bold hunter's mark, which is what I should have done... I try and drop down and um, <laughs> it just doesn't work. And I die and I don't get my blood echoes back because I don't know where they go. Uh, you're not going to see me looking for them or anything. I'm going to just fade it through. But uh, yeah, I do lose them. 40 odd thousand by the time I do it, which is quite annoying. Couple of levels there, but never mind. That uh, sort of fire there will uh, hurt you a lot, so don't walk into those. So this is where the pig was when we originally came down here. So there was a pig... Um, where the first one was and then where this one was so if you do the R2 let it attack and then let it run into another one of your R2s it's going to really hurt if it lands on top of you that's how my second death happens so a couple more chunks here from one of those sack guys so that's nice that they're not around anymore yeah this carriage you may remember that we went past this originally this is why I'm so cautious around it because that will happen this time so don't go and grab that item first. Just stay back uh, and let uh, sort of edge around and let this guy come jumping out. These other ones should not become alerted if you do that. And you can completely ignore them. That's where we got the original Tonitrus weapon from. There's nothing up there. So just ignore that. Uh, no need to go and aggro those if you don't have to. So I'll just show you where we are essentially going to be going. Uh, this is the path we took down originally when we came here, when it was Hypergian Jail. Um, yeah, we went down there and that was a dead end. That gate is now open and that leads to the boss. Uh, but we do need to go through sort of another section to get to the boss. We're going to take a different route though. So this is what happens. I jump out of the lift too soon. So don't do it then. I don't know what I was doing. And now I didn't even know this kind of middle section existed. But here we are. Uh, what I want to do is go above... So instead of use, if this happens, you use a bold hunter's mark. Don't try and drop down onto the ledge like that, because it will not work. So we'll try that again. Uh, yeah. So I don't recover my my blood echoes. I don't know where they went. They might be up here. There that looked like they might have been there actually, but never mind. Forty thousand. I've got eight thousand back from the run back. But anyway, get onto this roof, <laughs> and don't do it the way I did it. Watch out for these dogs. Oh, dogs. There. One more. Yeah, there's one more. Coming up the stairs. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're kind of going down, not the rooftops, but the higher level um, to get to the boss. This is another way you can come to it. But I will show you the whole way round. Yep, kill that. Scurrying Beast get a couple of blood chunks um, from that and then kill these scary looking werewolf things. Uh, so yeah, you should be able to do two charge, uh, charge R2s then back away and probably not do another charge but in instead just fit it with the normal uh, R1s instead. 
bit of a mess that one but never mind this is going to be another bloodstone chunk as well so we will have enough for a plus nine uh, and we will start on plus seven on the next weapon as well so more than enough and then we're going to teleport to the other side now so there's nothing else in here apart from this but if you stand in it you can teleport across to the other side the reason I'm showing you all this you could just do a straight run for the boss to be honest uh, it's just so you it can seem quite confusing there's lots of branching off areas so yeah there's a good reason as well to do it is that this maiden is here so I think I'm actually gonna get caught in her sort of ripple you can see it there it hits you a lot so get the hell out if that happens um, yeah I think that's the first time that's properly happened to me like that good job I caught it on film hey well not film but captured it uh, yeah a bit embarrassing but never mind uh, yeah so shortcut ladder there no, not going to use it we'll go a different way around uh, just show you everything so that's essentially where we're going down there in a moment so you could what you could do is go use that lift use this teleportation go to the chime maiden there uh, kill her go down the ladder and run to the boss that's what you could do I'm going to show you uh, where everything else is so another one of these so yeah do the wind up because you know it's going to run towards you it's a werewolf of course it's going to run, run towards you plenty of time to charge up now we're going to go down kill another one and yeah all these paths sort of link together that will all make sense it might look like we're just going down random places but it all makes sense we're just sort of uh, there's one central road, and I'll show you where we are in a minute. But just do these these sent these uh, branching paths first. Another werewolf, and it has the tempering damp blood gem uh, five, which is worth grabbing. To be honest, it's going to increase the attack damage of the the weapon we're using. So grab that. And then this doorway. Remember it for now. I'll show you where it it comes round. So yeah, we're going to go the other way because it's it's safer to go the other way. Um, don't just go running out that door. There's a, a few of those things. There's two of them that actually shoot at you rather than chase you down. Those uh, death casket, <laughs> death chest, whatever the hell they are. I do not know. So go across here. There's a shooter here. So he will have been strengthened by that maiden as well. go so do this one and then you're gonna see me die which is just embarrassing not with this one <laughs> the next one um, yeah so the same thing with those really is hit them once and then let them come to you because the, yeah you're gonna see in a second how much they can actually hurt so that's the doorway we just came out or was stood in a moment ago uh, so we've come around the other side it's definitely easier because there's two of these guys that shoot at you this one's going to kill me now, so I'll get hit by the shooter. Puts me off my um, charge in one hit. That was an insane amount of damage. So, I ran back. And there are my blood echoes. We'll try this again. So that one's shooting. And then there's one to the opposite side that's shooting as well. Uh, yeah, it doesn't particularly hurt that much, but it's just annoying. Um, I'm trying to get this one's attention. Yeah, let's kill it properly this time. This is what we're supposed to do. Yeah, even then it still just went straight through. Yeah, that wasn't really properly, was it? <laughs> Not a good example, but never mind. Yeah, so just the two shooting ones left. Uh, they won't chase you down, they'll just stand there shooting at you the whole time. So you can just run up on them and probably not do that do a charge instead completely missed come on there we go making that look difficult there right we're almost there honest <laughs> the boss of this place one reborn is easy we're gonna have a summon with us uh, and we're just gonna kind of uh, yeah I'm not gonna use the term but we're gonna have one on each end hitting it and take he's gonna take the front of the attention 
and we're just going to uh, hit it from behind and do lots of damage. Yes, yeah, so that's the doorway we were in before, and this is where the the stairs are that lead up to the the lamp to the Hypergian Jail lamp, which is now broken, where the pig was originally. That door was shut originally, so yeah, we've just carried on through. Uh, yeah, so that's this area done. Arcane Lake plus five. We already have a better Arcane Lake that we got from uh, Bergenworth, which is Arcane Resistance. Don't need that. It's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I saw, <laughs> the reason I did that is I thought I saw an item up at the top, but I don't know what I saw. Probably nothing. A uh, couple of Madman's Knowledge on either side in case you need them. You definitely shouldn't. Um, nearly at 60, we can buy a Blood Rock soon. Uh, we will also be finding one as well in the world. So yeah, we are nearly done with the kind of main path of the game. Chalice Dungeons will take quite a, a while, but I will be making them as uh, simple as possible. We're not gonna, There's loads of side areas in Chalice Dungeons, lots and lots of extra stuff. I will only go down the paths that we need to go down to get materials for other rituals, because that's the only reason we're going into them. So yeah, they, uh, they're coming up soon. Right, so do a backup save uh, if you're into that thing. If not, you will have to do the run back, obviously, if you die. Uh, and then there's a summon here on the left that we can use. Definitely would um, would say use this one. And then if you want to have either bolt paper or fire paper ready, whichever one you prefer, it's weak to both. Uh, whichever one you have the most of, I suppose. And then we have uh, our defector here, who's going to come and help us. And we've got the one reboot. I have no idea what the hell this thing is supposed to be. But... It's massive, it looks really imposing and scary almost, um, yeah, that thing, but it's actually very simple. Now, as a nice nod to the Tower Knight from uh, Demon Souls, there are actually Chime Maidens up above to get to them if you want to go and kill them. Uh, if you run towards the fog, there's a doorway on the left and right side, as you can see there, the doorway. Uh, you can go up, kill all the Maidens, and then come back down and take this, uh, this thing on. You can see them shooting these fireballs the whole time. Um, they don't do much damage. Just be prepared that you're going to be taking damage uh, from these um, fireballs. But essentially you want to get on the opposite end of where the other hunter is and just wail on it. And that's pretty much this fight. Just back away when it starts uh, slamming like that if you don't get hit by a fireball first, of course. Um, yeah, they can heal it, but chances are you'll do plenty of damage. So he's at the front end. This is the back end of the thing, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, when it does that, you can repost. You can go in for a visceral, but uh, it's, you might as well just do a load of charge R2s on it instead. Um, it can do sort of a rain attack, which it's not facing us, so it's probably not going to do it on us, where blood, sort of collections of blood and bone will drop from the sky. Uh, and try and hit you. It's not going to do that on this video, but if it does, just dodge out the way of them. Uh, it may also do an acid pool attack if it does that. Get on the high ground so you can st you see the stairs on the left there. Um, there are also some on the right. They're all the way around. Um, just go to sort of a bit of high ground and uh, get out of the way until the acid goes away and you'll be fine. Just save that hunter there. From t he nearly died. Uh, yeah, so just take the damage from the uh, the fireballs. You're going to be getting it back from hitting the one reborn as it is, so you'll be fine. And uh, yeah, that's the whole fight really. If you have this hunter with you, it makes it a lot simpler. Um, there we go. Nice and easy. Done. I should have over a hundred thousand souls. Hopefully, you will have uh, not souls, blood echoes. But I did lose forty thousand. Plenty of levels here. So, uh, very good. Good stuff. And that's it. That's this done. But I will just briefly make a quick detour to get Claw Mark plus 20, another rune. So, you may remember a guy that gave us the Flame Sprayer uh, very early on in Central Yarnum. He was speaking to him in the window. He was saying he was kind of changing and this is it for him. He did change. Uh, so, if you go back to Central Yarnum, he will be there now. So, if you kill him, you're going to get Claw Mark. This is plus 20 visceral attack damage. So, it is worth grabbing. Uh, so you can see that this is the window where we spoke to him. He's kind of broken through. 
And uh, yeah, it's not gone so well for him. So go quick, kill him quickly and uh, grab that for now. And then we'll do the usual uh, clean up at this point. Gonna go and uh, upgrade the weapon to plus nine. So we do need a rock to go up to plus 10, uh, a blood rock. So that's uh, all the chunks done for us for now. We will obviously be picking them up still if we find them. And we'll take the Holy Blade up to 7. Repair, no repairs. Uh, blood gem, you should have that plus, that, that sort of level 5 tampering uh, blood gem. So it's worth putting on. It's plus 18 attack, so it's definitely worth putting on, uh, regardless of what weapon you're using. And then just mess around and uh, add whichever ones you want to put on to uh, make your weapon better. Basically look for blue numbers and just read briefly on the uh, the right hand side what it's actually doing. Um, physical near death and then whatever the other one, the nourishing one is, uh, if my health is full. But it's uh, the main base percentage I'm looking at with those. Yeah, and then I'm going to keep the same runes on. Moon, eye and uh, communion and that's it for now so yeah I'm just going to do a few more levels I'll put some in in, in endurance now um, because we're going to we, once we get that to 40 that's where we'll stop with that um, strength as well so it's just the same strength endurance vitality uh, we will start putting stuff into skill but because the hunter's axe is uh, strength based we might as well just stick with strength uh, obviously if you are using the um, Holy Blade more, you want to put some in skill as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this one. So on to the orphanage next. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.